Hey everybody, it's Heather and I am going to do a review slash unboxing of this brand new Blue Yeti microphone. And let me tell you, the box is heavy, so I'll just show you around. Um, my husband said there was two boxes and they were both ripped right there. It's like, well, I hope it wasn't returned, so we'll check it out here in a minute. I'm sure it's brand new and they just ripped it by stocking, hopefully. So there's a little feedback on just the packaging in general. Okay, so I love this little owl and the um, plaid background there. And it says, Yeti noun, legendary ape-like creature who roams the Himalayas. Huh? Huh! Who knew, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Now, I don't know anything about this. I've never purchased one of these before. I actually got this for my birthday, which is today. And I purchased one on Amazon like six months ago. Got a pretty good deal on it, obviously. Well, the seller never shipped it, so I got a refund. And then I never saw another one with the same price. Um, I can't remember which brand it was, but so I returned or got my money back and just never ordered another one because these are pretty pricey. So again, I got this for my birthday today. So we're going to unbox it together. Isn't it pretty? So I don't have the stand. You can actually hook it up to, maybe there'll be a picture, but like the arm, like you'd hook your TV up to above your computer or whatever. That would be cool to have one day so maybe that'll be my next purchase so let's get to start started to unbox it I'm pretty excited let's see here my husband got this at Best Buy and he actually had bought a different one but when we woke up this morning and I unwrapped my present he took back a different microphone that I opened because he saw this one was on sale it was a completely different brand, and I think it, it was black and it had three legs. Okay. This is a, like exciting, like opening a new cell phone. A new cell phone for Christmas or something, right? So the box is taped completely. So it has not been opened, and I can tell nobody's removed the tape. And it looks like there's no other way to get in the box without cutting the tape. So, I didn't bring any scissors, so I'm just going to use a pen here, the tip. And voila. Exciting. It has the USB cords, so I can hook this right up to my laptop or I can hook it up to the computer on the desktop. And the reason why I want this microphone is because obviously I do do YouTube videos. And so we're gonna plug it in right now and see if you guys can tell the difference. And maybe even the birds, cause I'm in the garage. So maybe you can hear the dog barking more clear um, or the birds chirping and stuff maybe even cars driving by down the road. So I just took out the USB cord. Let's go ahead and just plug it into the computer. And it's really long, which is nice. So it won't be all tangled up in my space when I'm working and doing my hauls and stuff for you guys. I'm gonna plug in the USB cord and find where this bad boy goes. So, when I took that bag out, this is what I see. It's like a brochure, I think. Instruction pamphlet. Nice. The little monsters are super cute. Okay. Ooh, this is fancy. Gotta move my coffee out of the way. Let's just go ahead and tip this upside down over the table. So if something drops on the floor, it won't break. So this little piece fell off. It's got some foam on the bottom, obviously, you can see. And then, oh, 
my screen's getting blurry. Okay, turn this down. I guess you pull this apart. Oh, hello, Haley. She's more so pulling me. I do live videos too with a friend. Oh, look, it moves. It's like a telescope. It's heavy, you guys. Really heavy. I would hate to ever drop it. Let's see here. Why can't I get it out of the box? Styrofoam. Okay, this just popped out. Some of those beads. I need to mute my phone, apparently. Okay. Oh my goodness. Me. Can't get it out. Ooh. I had to tip it upside down. This is one bad mama jama. Let's see if y'all can see here. Maybe I can scoot this back. I'm trying to keep the screen focused. Now you see all my paint buckets down here and paint brushes. Okay. So, <clears throat> let me hold it up. This is what it looks like. You guys, this is like a gem to me. This cost, I don't know. I'm guessing. I didn't look it up because it's kind of rude. It's a birthday present. There's where we need to plug in our cord. Um, I believe these are like 150, 200 bucks. I don't know. They could be more. So I guess I need to flip it up. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. I like that. I have no idea how to work this. So let's look at the instruction manual here. Um, original or ultimate USB microphone for professional recording. Woo woo! I'm a professional. Look how cute that owl is. What else do we got here? Um, we have a triple capsule array, multi-pattern multi selection, blue logo indicates the front of the microphone. Where's the front of the microphone? What? Oh, okay. It's not blue, but it says blue, as you can see. I was like, where's the blue logo? So this is the front. And it has a mute button and a volume button. It looks like it's turned all the way down, luckily. It doesn't do any clicks, so it just keeps spinning forward and backward. So let's put it on medium. And let's get to plugging it in, shall we? Hello, hello. I'm going to feel like a newscaster here in a minute, right? Where can we plug it in? Right back here? This, I wonder if it's going to have to download anything or if it just automatically, oh, it's on mute. The red light is on. I hope you guys can't see that. Very good. Whoop. So I'm going to, how do I unmute it? Oh, oh my gosh. Mute or mute? So I think that means mute, and if I touch it, it's not on mute. I don't know. Can you hear me better? Hello. Oh, look at this. I can tighten these little levers a certain way and talk into it. Now... I know there's a lot of kids who do YouTube videos, and I do have a lot of kids that watch my channel sometimes because I did some, um, ooh, there's a foam thing stuck in my mouthpiece. Make sure you don't put your mouth, like, on it because you'll put germs on it, um, and you definitely don't want this to be, like, your cell phone super dirty. What? Oh, got it. Okay, so hopefully that... Let me turn this up. I'm going to turn it all the way into the middle and see. Oh, I didn't tighten it this tight enough. Hopefully you guys can distinguish the sound quality and I will play back the video too. So this is kind of like a test, test, testing. 
kitty here. Anyways, let's see what else. Okay, mute button status light. Press this button to mute the output from the microphone. When the mute button is flashing, the microphone is muted and no signal will be sent to the computer. Awesome. Okay. USB connection. Yeti connects to your computer. So I guess I do. Should I call my microphone Yeti or should I call my microphone Blue? Very good question. If I said Yeti, then people would think, where's my Yeti cup? So I would probably have to call it blue. Okay, so here's instructions for Windows 8, Windows Vista, Windows XP. I think I've already got it working, but I don't know. Let's see. Apple Mac Macintosh or whatever. Plug the microphone into the computer's USB port. I'm reading the instruction manual for anybody just tuning in. Um, from the main Apple menu, select the system preferences. Select the sound icon. Haha, <laughs> have I been talking this whole time with no microphone? I don't know. Now select the input tab. <sighs> this is not working out. I didn't want to strip it, so I didn't tighten it too much. Okay, so apparently we have to go into Mac and adjust the settings. I feel like I look like butt today. I'm ready to go swimming. Um, now select the input tab and select Yeti Stereo Microphone. As a starting point, Set the input volume to about 80%. If you decide you want to record something that is very loud, like a drums or a band practice, you will need to turn the setting down. If you're recording something that may be quiet, like an interview with a person who speaks softly, you may want to turn this setting up. Okay, so I don't think I can record this video and still go to the settings, but I think I might. Let me see. From the main Apple menu, go to System Preferences. Yeah, I can't, okay, here we go. Yes, I think we are, might be in business. Possibly, I need a drink of coffee. Okay, System Preferences. Okay. Select the sound icon. No. Where's the sound icon? Ah, got it. Okay. Ooh, I hope I don't mess anything up. Um, okay, I'm at the sound icon. Now select the input tab. Input. Ooh, look, there's Yeti. Okay, and select all right, I just selected it. We are pretty high up, so. Um, the dogs are starting to bark. Um, as a starting point, select the input volume to about 80%. I think it was all the way up, so I'm gonna just kinda center it. Hopefully that's good. Wait, input volume, okay, hello. 55% and it says to put it to about 80. Hello. It showed me a percentage. Now, okay, 83. So we need to turn it down just a little bit. Okay, I hope you guys can hear a difference. Um, let me see if I make sure, let me finish reading the instructions. I'm trying to skip the last two and I should probably read the rest to you guys for anybody else who cares. Um, or is purchasing one of these and trying to use it like me with no instructions, maybe. Um, oh, okay, yeah. If you decide, da da da, if you're recording, okay. So select the output tab and select, okay, so I wasn't even done. Select the output. Okay, there's output. 
and select Yeti Stereo Microphone. Okay. From this screen, you will want to put want to set the output volume to 100%. Okay. I think that's all. It wasn't on 100%, you guys. It was on 50 automatically on my MacBook Air is what we're working on today. So, um, from this screen, you'll want to set the output to 100%. Once you've selected this Yeti as your output device, you can control the headphone volume with the knob on front of the Yeti. Okay, so that kind of confused me on the last sentence, it made me think that I did something just for the headsets, whatever. So now that your Yeti is connected, verify the, that the microphone gain knob is centered, select your desired recording pattern and get ready to record. For installation instructions for other operating systems, you can go to bluemic.com slash forward slash yeti. Um, let's see. I think that's all the instructions I needed. Um, it gives you some crazy stuff you probably wouldn't know about um, recording modes is what it's called on this page. Not really sure what all this means, especially with all these weird animals. <laughs> um, just talking about vocals, instruments, stereo, and card, cardioid. I have no idea what that is. Omnidirectional, bidi directional. Okay, moving along. And then there's some graphs here. Okay, so I'm just anxious really to end this video and play it back and see what the um, sound difference is with my new Yeti. That was gay. I know. It's supposed to be blue. My new blue. Woo woo. Thanks, hubby. I do love my birthday present. I am 34 today. Thanks for watching, guys, and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Have a great summer.